You know, they talked about big break, but uh, Rick Ravanello has had many big breaks. He's been on Weeds. He's been on Desperate Housewives. He's usually the heartthrob. Um, yes. Uh, and, and what we know that they don't know is that at any given moment, somebody's pants are coming down on the golf course. That would be me. Seriously. Yes. But it's, it, it's, it's, you know what? It's usually a bet. It's usually like if, you know, I, I'll usually ask them. No, I'll tell them, actually. You know what? If, if you drive the ball in the woods, Nick, you've got to take your shirt off. If you drive in the water, you've got to take your pants off. If you so drive it straight, straight no, if you, gotta stri- if you drive it straight down the fairway, I will take my pants off for the next two holes. And so you're just taking your pants off a lot. What does that say about your golf game? I'm usually playing two holes of golf with my pants off. Yeah. <laughs> and I like it. Give me the mic back. Um, seriously, um, Rick, you've, tell us some of the television shows that you've been in and uh, what are some of the most uh, exciting highlights of your career? You know what? Um, last season I joined uh, a Showtime series called Weeds, obviously. It's a uh, great show. Yeah, it's a great show. It's, uh, it was the sixth season I jumped in, the seventh season we just finished. Uh, they got picked up for an eighth season, so I'll be back again next year. Um, and I just finished a movie, myself and Ryan Merriman and Faruza Balk, uh, that after 17 years of doing this, I've never been more... I get goosebumps thinking about it. It was like it was one of those pieces you dream about getting. It's like that game, that one game that right. you want to play and you right. finally get to play, that's what I finally got to do. So Congratulations. I'm, I'm really exciting. excited about it coming out. I'm really excited to see what it does. And, the reception that it gets. And What's the name of it? Can you give us any called, juicy it, bits? Yeah, no, it's called Dose of Reality. It's about, it's about this character that, you know, through his time is just completely stripped down to nothing. And, you know, what I love about it, it just sends out a message in life about who you were, finding out who you really are. You know what I mean? Yes. Peeling the layers yes. off yeah. and becoming nothing to really discover yep. who you really should be in life. And that's that. I mean, I just, you know, I love a film that sends a message and we don't do enough of them nowadays and it was an opportunity to do that so Absolutely. we joke a lot about uh you know the fun we have in our careers and it's it's great to have fun at these events but i think what we connect on most is that when you're doing something that brings out your best and uh that usually entails helping other people helping other people heal uh it brings out another and a higher level and just tell us about that and, and the connection with your acting you know what i just want to say i i i aspire to be a police officer. All I ever wanted to do when I was in high school, all I ever wanted to do was be a cop. I wanted to do that with my life. It was a service thing, but it was all my friends were out doing it. And I fell into the whole acting world. And, and I was initially somewhat embarrassed to tell people that I was an actor. And then I had an opportunity to come out to events like this and to meet people and then see what it could do and, and look at the smile. I mean, it's the smile and, and it, you know, bringing people together to help others who are in need, and it changed my life. It made me put a lot of things in perspective and realize what's really important in life. And if we can't take the gifts that we have and do something with them to make a difference, then what are we doing? Honest honest to God, that is honestly how I truly feel. I get, like I said, I I get flushed thinking about it because stuff like this is what's changing my life. Not being on television, not doing movies. and you showing up and being here is changing other people's lives as well. And helping change so other thank people's you. lives. Thank you for showing up. Yes. And uh, we'll make sure to check out your movie and ca- catch him on Weeds. All right. Nick, I love you. Love you too, bro. Lots of love. Rick Ravanello, star as a person and also maybe leading a, a little culture shift where more and more actors and athletes are doing things that they realize you can have all the fame and fortune in the world, but without that connection of giving back and, and sharing your blessings, it really it ends up being pretty, pretty empty. Thank you, sir. Love you, brother.